Zero engine noise. Zen. Maruti Zen. Hello and welcome to Bose Garage. So in today's video, we would like to explain to you how to do the service of the carburetor of this 2000 model Zen LX and then to assemble it and refix it on the car and do the tuning for optimum performance and fuel efficiency. Before we go into that video, we would like to share some more info. Be it a Sen or any old car, yeah. we all know that the Sen stopped production in 2006, so it's, it's almost 15, 15 plus, plus years. years. Yeah. And we will be finding uh, it difficult to source parts in the near future. Yeah. Now, most of the parts are available, I mean, mainly yeah. genuine parts are available. Mm -hmm. But in the near future, it might be a bit tough to find. So this is the right time to do all the sorts of preventive maintenance of on the course. car. Yes. <laughs> and definitely if you have a car which is more than 15 years old and if you plan to keep it for a longer period of time or maybe forever like us, <laughs> it's always better to have all the documentation of the car in hand to effectively maintain your car. Yeah. First Things thing, like the, the owner's, service, manual, owner's manual, parts catalog S and the service, service manual. manual. The owner's manual and parts catalog for the Sen is still available. Mm. We managed to get a hard copy of the parts catalog. We will share with you the part number for both the owner's manual as well as the parts catalog. For the service manual also there is a part number. Mm -hmm. We did try to order but we were but not able to get a copy. Yeah. We managed to get a copy for the Gypsy. Yeah. All the copies for the Gypsy, gypsy but yeah, not for the Sen. And in that note we started searching for the service manual. And we all know that the Sen was launched in India in 1993. Mm. But Maruti Suzuki wanted to export this car also. That was their original plan. Yeah. And they did succeed. They sold this in the European market from 1994 onwards as the Suzuki Alto, Alto. or the Suzuki SH410. SH in yeah. India, it was the MH410. MH <laughs> we don't know the full form of that. M stands for Maruti, S for Suzuki, but the H, H. we don't know. If you, do, if you know... Do yeah. let us know. <laughs> yeah. And 410, 4 cylinder, 1000 cc. cc. So we searched for the Suzuki SH410 service manual and we were really lucky. We managed to find the wiring diagram as yeah. well as the service manual, which is ap applicable for our Zen. Yeah. It's exactly the same. So we will share the, the link with you as well so that you can also download. And the service manual is very detailed. Like all the Japanese cars, the service manual for the, the Zen also is very detailed you can do almost all the activities if you are able to read and understand the procedures inside. For the carburetor service itself, there are few pages in that manual mm. and it has described in detail each and every single part of the carburetor as yeah. well as how to tune the carburetor. And they have did it in very detailed manner. We followed exactly how it is written yeah. in the manual. And uh, that was done around a month ago. Yeah. <laughs> and we already did around 1000 kilometers with our car. And we check the fuel efficiency. It's around 17 to 18 without the without air, air without air conditioning. Yeah. <laughs> we did not check with air conditioning. We wanted to know how much it will return. Yeah. The best fuel efficiency yeah. figures. See, that's and the great thing about the Japanese. Everything is organized. See yes. the procedures. The procedures, itself. yes. And it's nice to work with Japanese cars also. <laughs> Whether it is a Suzuki or a Toyota or the bikes if it's a Yamaha. Yeah. Japanese vehicles are always, always fun, to, fun, to, fun work. to work with and easier to work with compared Ask to... That's how we know. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's what we understood. <laughs> and of, of course, we will bring you more videos about different brands of cars yeah. <laughs> and the difficulties we, we face in other videos. So, let us move on to the carburetor service yeah. video. We have okay. done it in three parts. Three parts. Part First will be the dismantling. dismantling and then service service and, and then assembling and uh, tuning tuning in tuning the car Operator. so let's watch the video yeah. so before to remove the carburetor we need to remove the air filter but prior to dismantling anything we need to check the condition of this hoses first is the air inlet hose then there is the hose from the egr valve to the air filter and then there is another breather hose from the rocker arm cover to the air filter. Due to aging, these hoses might have got dried up and may re require replacement. In this vehicle, the EGR valve hose is already damaged, it's dried up, so which we need to replace. So let's start uh, removing the air filter first. There is a screw here, then there is a bolt, and then there is a wing nut. And we need to remove the hoses connected to the air filter 
and then we can lift up the air filter. So now air filter is removed. So before to dismantle the carburetor, now that the air filter is removed, you can see that there is a rubber gasket. This rubber gasket also gets dried up due to aging. In this case, in our vehicle, it is still fine, so we are not replacing it. But make sure to check this one and replace if required. And before you dismantle, again, there, as you can see, there are so many vacuum hoses. All these vacuum hoses, make sure that you take a photograph before you remove it because otherwise you will get confused later on when you went to want to reconnect it especially if you are doing it for the first time and there are some vacuum mechanisms on this carburetor we will explain to you the function of each and everything towards the end of the video also we need to remove the choke cable and the accelerator cable and check the condition of the cables and if required if, if they are found in good condition make sure that you lubricate the cables as well so to remove the carburetor, it is mounted on four studs and underneath the carburetor you can see four nuts. To get access to those nuts, we may need to remove some of these vacuum mechanisms to make enough space. So now all the four holding nuts are loosened. Now we can slowly remove it and lift up the carburetor. So couple of nuts at the rear you can remove only while lifting up the carburetor. Make sure that you don't drop the nut or anything inside the manifold. So before to completely strip down the carburetor, we will tell you some info about the carburetor. This is a dual barrel downdraft type carburetor designed by Mikoni. In India for Maruti Suzuki, it is built by UCAL fuel systems in association with uh, Mikuni Japan. So you can see all the UCAL Mikuni embossings on this carburetor. This carburetor has a primary circuit and a secondary circuit. Younger and do it other jail. Up at the Gurkin Giao, they will.